There's something in the garden that has left a silvery, slimy trail. I wonder what it is and where it's going. I'm going to follow the trail and see where it ends up. It's a snail. I struggled to find it because the slime is drying and evaporating on the red brick. The snail slime is one of the things that make it special. It uses the slime to slide around on its long gray foot, which is one big muscle. The slime is so sticky, it helps the snail climb vertical walls. I wonder where this one is going. The short sticks at the front are called tentacles. They help the snail feel and taste what's in front of it. If you put a snail on clear plastic or glass, you can watch it move. It moves in a wave-like motion. I find it hypnotic. Snails have thousands of teeth on its tongue. It uses its tongue like a grater on plants for the snail to eat. We chew snails great. Snails don't use their mouth or nose to breathe. They use a small hole or cavity underneath its shell where the oxygen goes through. Those long sticks at the front of the snail are called stalks and at the top of those stalks are the snail's eyes. Snails don't see very well. The eyes are used to sense light and dark. That's probably where it's going now, to a dark, damp place. The snail shell is probably its most recognizable feature. It is hard and is their main protection from predators like birds and cats. The shape is round and its colors are usually brown and yellow. The spirals on the shell are called whorls, and in some species of snails, they tell us how old they are. I see three whorls on this snail. I'm thinking this snail is three years old. Snails like dark, damp places. You can find them clinging under rocks or logs. In my garden, I think there'll be a snail under this plank. Here's a snail clinging to the plank. It's using its super sticky slime to almost glue itself there. It's probably had some friends here because there's lots of snail poo. Other insects share the space with the snail, like spiders and centipedes. Snails can also hibernate. It's usually over those colder months, but some snails can hibernate for up to three years. There's lots going on in the garden. It's amazing what you can find. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you.